Good morning, guys. It's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor, and it's time for Friday Fab Five. I do this every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Central. I come live and share five of my favorite things with you guys. Sometimes it might be a recipe. Sometimes it's a new thing I found on Amazon. You just never really know. Um, so I hope you guys have had an awesome week. We're getting ready to share our first item in just a moment. I always have to have my list handy because I come up with these things maybe a day or two in advance. Sometimes I'm like, what did I decide to share about? <laughs> So if you didn't get the text letting you know I was going live for this, there's information about how to do that on the screen. You can also text me pictures of your projects and what you've been working on. Um, and then we're going to be talking a little bit toward the end of this about our upcoming fall workshop, which I did share about last Friday. But if you missed last Friday's Friday Fab Five, you probably didn't hear about it. Um, and then I've got something exciting to share about um, deco art. We're going to be doing a deco art factory tour on August the 8th. So we're going to be talking about that in just a moment. But y'all be sure and say hello as you come in. Let me know if Facebook's working because <laughs> uh, when I set up the stream this morning, it uh, it kept saying Facebook was like having difficulties. And so I think I've like Got it to hold together just barely. Um, so it seems to be working. Okay, good. I'm seeing some comments. Hey, April. Hi, Heather. Good morning, Brenda and Michelle and all the rest of you guys uh, who are here. Hey, Linda. Hi, Roxy. Good. It's working. Um, some of you guys had asked because you'd seen it in a previous um, painting video or something. Yes, this is the free mug I got on Timu. And it's full of caffeine this morning because I need it. That's not a Friday Fab Five item, but some of you guys had been asking about it in a previous video. Uh, Kathy says, see if they are making marigold paint when you go. I will put in a request for you, Kathy. <laughs> uh, Miss Pam Savage messaged me this morning and said that her store, and I don't know what store it was. I don't know if it was a Michael's or a Hobby Lobby or a Joann's or what, but she said her store um, was not restocking deco art paint and was stocking something else. And so she's like, please say something to him about it, them about it and find out what's going on. So I'll do my best. Jenny loves her Timu cup. Me too. Your daughter got one. Uh, I think I also shared on here a duffel bag that I got for free the other day from Timu. I got it by playing those little games, the fish land and the farmland game and stuff like that. Like if, if, if you haven't tried that, give it a shot. Cause I got some free stuff already from playing those. Yes, Sandy. That's exactly what I was talking about. Send me a request to be buddies on fish land, fish land and farmland. <laughs> and maybe we can uh, share fish food with each other or, or like you have to, you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> okay. I've gotten off track. Let's go ahead and get to the first item on my Fab Five list, which we actually used last night during dinner. Um, how many of you guys do breakfast for dinner or supper? Instead of making pancakes for breakfast, we make them for dinner around here because I don't eat breakfast most mornings. I run on just water and caffeine. Um, <laughs> Tammy says you're so bushy and I love it. Um, I run on um, water and caffeine most mornings, so I don't eat breakfast a lot. And not to mention, I don't have the energy in the mornings to get up and make pancakes and eggs and bacon and sausage like Props to our ancestors who did that every single morning for those people who had to like get up and go work on the farm who needed a hearty breakfast before they hit the road running because I don't know if I could have managed to do that because number one, I don't like to get up early in the mornings. I would not have been a good farm wife. <laughs> number two, I don't like to, to like jump in the kitchen and start cooking first thing in the morning. Like I got to get going first. So we do pre pancakes for supper. Bro Roxy said you do too. Um, yeah, you can send it to my text number, Sandy. Um, so we do breakfast for supper a lot. Sometimes we'll do pancakes. Sometimes we'll, oh, we always do eggs. We always do uh, a pound of sausage, a pound of bacon, um, usually about half a dozen eggs. And then sometimes I'll throw in their biscuits and I don't, I don't hand make my biscuits. They're like the frozen Mary B's biscuits. That's a fab five item for another day. Um, and, and if I'm in the mood, I'll make sausage gravy. But last night we didn't do gravy and biscuits. We just did the pancakes. And my husband, for whatever reason, a few weeks ago, thought it would be hilarious to get me a Bob Ross waffle maker. Y'all, I don't even eat waffles. Why do I need a Bob Ross waffle maker? But you know what? If you're a painter and you and somebody you know finds something with Bob Ross's face on it, you'll probably get it as a gift. 
I don't even buy Bob Ross stuff. Let me just tell you this, because if you've watched the Bob Ross documentary, you know that um, his his family doesn't even get any of the proceeds from the stuff with his face and name on it. It goes to a third party that bought the rights to his face and name, and they did it through some skeevy methods. So if you've watched that documentary, it's actually kind of sad. But <laughs> this Bob Ross waffle maker was a hit in our house last night. We made Bob Ross waffles. Now, this one right here, my son likes his waffles really lightly toasted. He doesn't like them brown, like browned at all. So you can barely make out Bob's face and his afro and his smile. Um, <laughs> but it makes some really fluffy pancakes or waffles, I guess. I don't really consider them waffles because they don't have the like dents in them, like the little divots to hold the syrup, which is the best part about a waffle if you're going to eat a waffle, in my opinion. And Bob doesn't have any divots. Like maybe if he was missing a tooth, he'd have a divot in his mouth or something. Um, but it was kind of fun to make Bob Ross waffles last night. So I thought I'd share that on here this morning. I don't know if any of you guys have a desire to make Bob Ross waffles or not, but it was kind of a funny little anecdote from dinner last night. Um, oh, Kathy, your husband's a Blackstone chef. Well, I need some Blackstone recipes because we have a Blackstone and um, we don't, we do burgers on it. We do uh, hibachi We've done quesadillas and that's about it. We, we haven't gotten super adventurous with our Blackstone yet. I need to learn some new recipes. Send me an easy one. Uh, Linda says, I don't eat breakfast either. I have to be at work at 6 a.m. We do breakfast for supper also. We do too. Oh, you love the Mary B's biscuits. Those are the bomb. They are frozen in Walmart. Like you can get butter flavor or regular, but you literally pull them out of a bag frozen, put them on a pan and pop them in the oven. Easiest, best biscuits you'll ever have. <laughs> April must have a baby Yoda uh, waffle maker. Does anybody else have a funky waffle maker like that makes faces? Tell me what kind you have. <laughs> Your husband also thinks he's a Blackstone chef. Well, Uncle Corey is our Blackstone chef. And our tradition is usually that um, on Sunday nights, either I will cook dinner or he will cook dinner. And if he's cooking, I'll usually have everything like meal prep, like prepped for him to cook. And he'll come and cook it um, on Sunday nights on our Blackstone. <laughs> Black, fried rice on Blackstone is yummy. I love it. I haven't had that in a while. Your husband's the cook around here makes the best homemade biscuits. Ooh, send him to my house, Pam. Those sound awesome. You have a Mickey Mouse waffle maker? How fun. A couple of you do. Charity says I have a Halloween one that has skulls. <laughs> Nancy has a Bob Ross toaster. Oh, well, I bet it makes a better face than my Bob Ross waffle maker. <laughs> Diane's has one that makes cars and trucks. How fun. I had no idea. There's uh, you have a rose for a waffle maker. I didn't know that there were so many different kinds of like waffle makers, but I guess it's a thing. Also toasters. Okay. So that's enough about Bob and his waffle face. Let's move on to the next item on my fab five list. Um, so, in the Painters Clubhouse this past month, we remixed a sunflower. I painted this sunflower, and usually when I do a sunflower, it has a much larger center, but I wanted to go for a different looking sunflower this time, so I did a smaller center. This center is only like five and a half inches circle or so, um, and to do the center design on this, we used a stencil. Now, our Painters Clubhouse members had the option of buying what we call a companion pack each month, and it comes with the wood pieces in it that you're going to need for that upcoming month. And so each month we have a different one. Last month, they could get um, this sunflower, the extra wood piece circle, uh, a pumpkin pup design and something else. And we like to try to throw in a bonus item when we can. And so the bonus item this time was this little floral uh I call it a floral scalloped stencil because I, when I saw this, I was like, oh, that is like the perfect center for a sunflower. And so we stenciled it on this little center of the sunflower. And um, I had some of these left. So I added them to our shop. So if any of you guys want to get one of these floral scalloped stencils, they are in our shop for, I think, $8. And if you're a Clubhouse member, you can use your discount code on them. And we will send them um, to you in the mail. You can also grab the sunflower on the website. I don't know that we have the sunflower on there with the 3D piece in the middle, though. I'll have to check about that. You have a Ninja Turtle one? My boys would love that. <laughs> they love the Ninja Turtles. Um, 
So for those of you who got your floral scalloped stencil, let me know what you thought of it and how it worked out for you. We also shared some um, tips during that live on how to stencil without getting like bleed under. And usually if like, see how clean the back of my stencil is, that's a good sign. I did get a little bleed right there. That's a good sign that I didn't like have a lot of bleed under. And the trick to that is using like a, uh, hold on, I'll show you, like a triangular makeup sponge or some kind of sponge that's super dense like this. Any kind of makeup sponge would do actually. But these are great because they're so cheap and you can like throw them away. Or sometimes I'll cut the end off of it that had paint dried on the end of it and just keep reusing it. And so you just dip it in your paint and then you dab it off on something so that it doesn't look like it's got any excess paint. It's only like inside the sponge. And then you just pounce, 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 pounce your little heart out until you get good enough coverage. But that's going to keep you from having um, some bleed under with your paint. Karen says, it's been a while since I've been back here. Hey, Karen, glad to have you back on live with me. There's my friend, Miss Sarah. Thank you. I'm wearing all the uh, leopard print today. Leopard print and sunflowers go together, don't they? <laughs> I mean, it feels like they do. So I've got leopard print earrings, leopard print pair eyewear, uh, leopard print headband, because it's it's one of those hair weeks where it's just not been, good at, not been a good hair week. So I'm wearing it up in a messy bun. Hey, Ruth. Hi, Tina. Okay, let's move on. So that was item number two on the Fab Five list. Number three is something you might not know. <laughs> Sarah says leopard print goes with everything. Duh. Yeah. Um, Walmart with their back to school stuff. Like, I don't know if y'all have kids that need the school supplies. I'm putting this up on my screen. So give me a second. I'm going to share my screen and take you over there and show you. If you have to get school supplies for the kids, um, I didn't know if you knew about this. Oh, let's take that off. If you go to Walmart, there is a section where you can find your school supply list. I thought this was super cool. I don't know how long they've been doing this, but I just discovered it. So I, I thought if I didn't know about it, maybe you didn't know about it. Um, so let's just do a sample like zip code. I'm going to type in like a zip code that's not my zip code because um, I don't live in Paducah, but I know their zip code. <laughs> <laughs> and so I didn't want to click on a school that was my kid's school and share what school my kids go to on the internet. That's not smart. So I'm just going to pick a random school that's like in a neighboring town. Uh, we're going to click on here and see what they have. So for Paducah Middle School, see, you can click on it and then you can go by grade. So if I had a sixth grader at the Paducah Middle School, it would bring up all the things that were on that supply list. And look, I can save this list if I want to go like shop later or find it later, or I can add it all to my cart and just check out. Boom, done. School supply shopping done. I mean, if this doesn't make school supply shopping easier, I don't know what will because I hate school supply shopping. I loved it when I was a kid because it was fun to go pick out like your, you know, your new markers and your whatever. But nowadays I feel like the school supplies are so bland and they just want you to have like a three prong folder or something. And the cute ones don't come with prongs in them, but I used to love like the Lisa Frank stencil or uh, Lisa Frank folders and the um, trapper keepers and all that stuff. And they have brought a lot of that stuff back, but my daughter doesn't necessarily have those things on her supply list. So we may have to like go in the store and pick out a few things like that. But for all the mundane, boring stuff like glue sticks and expo markers that we have to buy, I'm probably going to use this method and just add it all to cart. <laughs> uh, hi, Janine from Oregon. Jerry says mine's in high school. No school supply list anymore. Hallelujah. Next year, I'll have two high schoolers. Um, this year, I've just got one and I've got an eighth grader. So I've got an 11th grader, an 8th grader, and Charlie's going into third grade. So Charlie will be the hardest one to get school supplies for because she's going to have opinions. <laughs> but for the middle schooler, I could just do that. Add to cart. He won't, he won't care. Uh, Patty says, can I ask a question about a tutorial? Sure. Drop it here in the comments. We'll see what we can do for you. Oh, that's a really good idea. Kathy makes decals and stickers for her daughters or girls to dress theirs up. So if you have to get a boring three prong folder, cover it in stickers or something. I like that. We could probably do that. I have lots of stickers around here. Uh, thanks to my friend, Sarah. Um, I get stickers in my framed monogram box all the time. So I could gift a few of them to Charlie to put on her school folders. Um, you're headed to Grand Rivers with a group. Grand Rivers is awesome. I love that place. 
We had a um, Painters Clubhouse jingle and mingle there last year. School has already started there, Tammy. School doesn't start here until like August the 9th. So we still got like a week and a half running on borrowed time now. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the next item on the Fab Five list, which is a deco art meet and greet. So I only have four spots left for this. So if you live within driving distance to Stanford, Kentucky, uh, that's about an hour away from Lexington, Kentucky, I think, if you have no idea, it's like on that part of the state. It's about four hours from me. Stanford, Kentucky is where the Deco Art Factory is. Um, and I'm going to be there on August the 8th. And we're going to take a tour at 10 a.m. Um, and I'm only allowed to take 19 people with me. So 20 people total, counting myself. Um, and so they only allow a small number. This is a special private tour. They don't normally allow people to just come on in and take tours at any time. I planned this and I've gotten it all situated. So what we're going to do um, is on August the 8th, we're going to go at 10 a.m. We're going to tour the Deco Art Factory. We'll go to lunch together in town and then um, we'll come back to the factory and when we come back, we're going to do a small craft project together. And we've got goodie bags for you from me. I think Deco Art's going to have some goodies for you. And we're going to get to try out a new paint that Deco Art has just come out with called Thrift Flip. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we've already got, like I said, like 16 people registered. I think we only have four spots left. We opened this up to our Painters Clubhouse first so that they got dibs. Um, and if it sold out to the clubhouse, I would have been thrilled. But I, I don't think we have enough clubhouse people living close to Stanford that could come because this is only going to be like a four hour uh, part of the day. It's not like an all day event or anything like that. Um, but to come, it's only twenty five dollars. I, I tried to keep it super affordable because this is mostly deco art doing their thing. And I'm just showing up and teaching a craft and walking with you guys through the factory. So it's going to be fun. It'll be an opportunity to get to meet me, get to meet some of your other painting sisters and to get to walk through and see how this paint that we all know and love is put into bottles, how the labels are put on the bottles. It's the coolest thing. I've done it once and I want to do it again because it was really cool to watch. I felt like I was at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory when I went through the section where they inject the paint in the bottles because it was all these noises that were making me think of that scene in the in the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory movie where everything was going, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. you know, like making those little boop, 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 beep, boop, boop noises. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible impression, but you know what I'm saying? It was like all these cute little booping and like beeping noises and squirting noises and like factory, like uh, hydraulic noises where things go. <laughs> if I could only do all those noises at once, you'd know what I was talking about. But like all those little noises and it injects the paint and I'm like, oh, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so um, if any of you guys live close to Stanford and want to come with me, on the 8th, if you don't have to work or if you can call in sick, um, come and join us. <sighs> Hang on just a second. Somebody just pulled up the driveway and I need to yell at my daughter. So I'm going to mute myself for just a second. <laughs> the wall, I, I, they're probably outside. The walls are thin enough. I can yell at my son and be like, hey, go get Charlie. She had a friend spend the night last night and the friend's mother's here to pick her up. OK, let me check the comments. Tammy said, I wish I could attend with you all. Oh, I wish you could, too. Um, Patty, I'll, I'll get your question in just a minute. I didn't miss it. I, I'll get it in a second. Tammy said, we're here on a year round calendar. Um it will be a fun tour. Michelle wanted to go so bad. I'm hoping we can do another one of these in the future. This may not be the last time we ever do this. But then again, I've been wanting to do this since like 2019-ish. And every time, and ever since then, you know, COVID got in the way and just life gets in the way. And next thing you know, three or four years have gone by and I haven't done it. So I'm not going to say we'll do another one like really, really soon. But I would love to do another one in the future if time can allow for it and if they would let us. Um, okay. So Melissa said, I'll be in Somerset, Kentucky on the 8th. Is that close? I, I know where I've heard of that, but I don't know exactly where that's at. What is the date? It's August 8th. It's a Wednesday, I think, which is an odd day to do a tour. But to be honest with you, I tried to plan it on a Friday, but the deco art plant manager was like, nope. How about the 8th? <laughs> so he dictated when we have this, I didn't get to pick. Melissa said, I'd love to call out sick, but Kentucky's a multi-call-out day coming from, oh, mm. 
What state is the factory in? Somerset, or not Somerset, Stanford, Kentucky. Kentucky. If you didn't know, I bet you didn't know, Deco Art Paint is all made right here in Kentucky, which um, I'm proud to support. What do we do to sign up? There's a link up in the description, Kim. Let me go grab it for you, and I'll drop it right down here. After you um, buy the spot, the ticket, you'll get an email with like a little PDF that you can print out and it will have more information about the itinerary for the day and the address for where to go that morning. OK, uh, let's move on to the last item on my Fab Five list that we did talk about last Friday, which is Henrietta, our fall chicken that we're going to be painting in our workshop August 14th and 15th. Every year we do a spring and a fall workshop. And it's only $10. You're going to get a printable template that you can print out at home and tape together. Mine's already taped together. I have a video showing how I did this. And it's shiny because it has shipping tape on it. But this is multiple sheets of paper that have been cut and put together to make a larger piece. Because you need it to be 18 inches to fit on um, a wood round. And so we do this because it's a good way to kind of like get you guys to test if you like painting with me or not. So some of you guys may have been watching me. Tell me if this is you in the comments. Some of you guys may have been watching me for months or possibly even a year now watching my free tutorials on Tuesday and you've never actually sat down and painted a door hanger. You've just watched and you've thought, I wish I could do that. Or maybe you have tried it and just not been very successful doing it on your own. This is an opportunity for you to participate with me in a live video tutorial in a private Facebook. You can post your pictures. You can ask questions. It's very similar to how we do it in the Painters Clubhouse. Um, the only difference is in the Painters Clubhouse, I usually do it in one video instead of breaking it down over multiple nights. So we're going to break the painting part down over two different nights, Monday and Tuesday night. If you can't watch live, there is a replay. No worries. Um, and then on Thursday night, there will be a live Q&A. So you can like come and ask questions and whatever. It's going to be kind of like a week-long party in a private Facebook group. Uh, Nancy says, that's me. Jenny says, that's me. Well, Nancy and Jenny, this is my personal invitation to the two of you to come and join me for the Henrietta workshop so you can finally paint your first door hanger. <laughs> uh, Donna says, it's so much fun. Give it a try. Thank you for that, Donna. Uh, yes, Missy, you can use Henrietta for future paint parties or um, her flock. I'll talk about the flock in just a moment. Um, and before I forget, can we pause talking about the workshop for me to go up and answer Patty's question? She has been ever so patient. <laughs> she asked this earlier and I forgot to respond. She said, I'm doing a paint party to raise funds for our private small high school. They want to do your thankful pumpkin. Is there a tutorial I can watch before? Uh, Patty, I'm not sure which pumpkin is the thankful pumpkin. We have lots of pumpkins that have thankful on them. Is it a club? Is it the new clubhouse design? If so, yes, you have. I mean, honestly, any of my designs, um, you can use for a workshop. I'm just not sure if there's tutorials that you could watch um, because we don't have tutorials for every single one of my videos. But if it's that thankful pumpkin that we're doing in the clubhouse in August, um, we will have a tutorial for that from our guest instructor, Miss Beth Eaton. Um, and so once she does that, you can watch the tutorial and then teach it. Oh, it's not new. Okay. Patty, if you can, I want you to text me a picture of it. Here's my text number. Text me a picture of it and I'll let you know if I have a video for that one or not. Okay. Ruth said, I started just like that. I just watched, but you, but then decided to join. Best decision. Thank you for saying that. Um, and good luck on your craft booth today. I hope it goes well. Uh, Tambra, to sign up for the Deco Art Tour, there's a link up in the video. Just kind of like tap on the screen here and click go to the overview section if you're on your phone. There's all the links right there. Um, okay, so let's get back to talking about Henrietta and the workshop. There's a couple different ways you can participate. If you want to go the cheapest route, it's $10. That gets you um, the supply list, the printable template. You just download all of that and print it out on your own. Um, you can use that circle to cut to trace on your wood and cut out your own wood shape. You can use like a scroll saw or jigsaw or whatever you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable doing it, get your husband, your brother, somebody around you to do it that is comfortable um, with power tools. 
or you can order a wood blank from us and we can ship it to you. Our wood blanks, uh, the 18 inch round ones are $12. The uh, next option is to go ahead and just get the kit. So we have a kit that comes with all of this all ready for you. It's got the printed template. It's got the graphite paper you're going to need, the chip brush, the wood circle, the sponge, the brushes, the supply list, all the things ready for you. The only thing that's not included in this kit is the paint and a paint pen. Everything else is there. So um, if you want to go that route, that option is $45. So that's $10 for the workshop and $35 for the kit. Together, it's $45. Um, if you've already signed up for $10 and you're like, I can't find a wood round. I'm having troubles. I just want to buy the kit. You can go ahead and buy the kit for $35 inside the Facebook group. Um, and I promised I would talk about the flock. Let me see if I have a picture of them. I thought I had it on here already. Where are they? Hmm. 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 Let me see if I can find them real quick because I could have sworn I grabbed a picture of the flock. I must not have uploaded them here. Oh, here, here it is. Let me upload it. So the flock is the other eight versions of Henrietta for all the different seasons. So when you go to sign up for the workshop on, at the checkout page, there's an option to add these ladies to your cart for an additional $27. And that is all the templates um, that includes the PDFs, the laser files, all the things for all of these other templates. So at the top left, we've got just a general one that'll work for any time of year. In the middle top, we have Christmas. It says, meet me under the mistletoe. Top right, she's popping out of a valentine. It says, be my valentine. And then we've got USA. She's got her star patriotic sunglasses on. At the right, we've got Hello Winter. She's wearing earmuffs and snow boots. And at the bottom, she's um, behind some flowers and it says Hello Spring. At the bottom middle, we've got her at the beach and then at uh, in an Easter basket for Easter. So one for all the different seasons. So if you want to get the entire flock, it's $27. If you didn't get it upon checkout, the link to that is also in the Facebook group for the workshop. You can get it again later if you want to. Um. Have all the lives been put into searchy area? I have several blanks I've ordered, but I can't find a live. Lorna, yes. Every live that I've ever done should be in searchy. So use that and search and see if you can find it. Nancy says that kit's a no-brainer is the way to go. I feel like it is too. Yeah, it just makes it simple. You love the USA one? I do too. She, it's got, I think, splatter paint on it too, which I really love. I love doing splatter paint. Okay, what questions do you guys have? Um, while you're thinking of your questions, I want to show you the new designs we have in our shop this week. They are all Halloween designs. Um, Halloween's going to be here before we know it, y'all. I know it may feel a little early for Halloween, but it's not. <laughs> They've already got Halloween out at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, so all five of these are brand new designs, and you can find them in the shop. At, uh, the templates are half price, and the blanks are 50% off. So if you no, wait, I just told you that wrong. The blanks are 15% off. Um, and you can use your clubhouse discount code on top of that as well. So let me know which one of these is your favorite. Is it the stacked Halloween pumpkins? Is it the ghost wreath? Is it the happy Halloween with the candy on it? Is it the cauldron? Or is it the word boo? <laughs> you love the boo? Sammy loves boo. So does Lori. Ruth likes those designs. Ruth can't pick a favorite. Eunice says, stack pumpkins is my favorite. <laughs> Dixie, yes, she is killing it in those glasses. Y'all are cracking me up. Joanne says, I like the Valentine. I would use it for a birthday. Oh, that's a good idea. You could take Be, Be My Valentine off of it and just say, like, something about happy birthday. You might could come up with a cute little chicken saying, too, for birthdays. Stacked pumpkin and hello, boo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm skimming to see if I missed any questions because comments come in too fast sometimes for me. Okay, Kathy says, can you order the lasered round if you signed up? Uh, no, we don't offer the lasered rounds for our workshops um, until later because in the workshop, we teach it with a template. And so uh, that's just part of the workshop experience. So we don't offer them laser just yet, but we will in the future. 
Okay. Amber says, Hey, Amber, I didn't feel like I hadn't seen your name on here in a while. She said, I did the pumpkin workshop last year and joined after that. I loved every minute of it. I've learned so much the last year I have grown more than in a long time. I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. That's why we do these workshops to get your foot in the door with painting, to convince you that you can do this because anybody can learn to paint. It's just whether or not you have the desire to actually pick up the brush Put the paint on the can on the canvas or the wood and give it a try. And it might not turn out perfect the first time, but the more you do it, the better you get. Um, I did not consider myself a painter when I first started. I was just playing around and I considered myself a crafter. Now I would call myself an artist or a painter because I paint all the time. So that's pretty much the definition of a painter, right? Um, and so, yeah, baby steps. Exactly, Ruth. You're going to get better and better as you go. So just trust that I believe in you and trust the process and don't get too frustrated along the way and you'll do great. All right. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope to see you in our Henrietta Fall Workshop. So go sign up for that. Um, quick recap. If you're near Stanford, Kentucky, you can come on a tour with uh, with me to the Deco Art Factory. So go grab a link for that in the description. Go grab a stencil. If you're adding some of those Halloween designs to your cart, you might could use this for something for Halloween. I don't know. Maybe a spider's web. Maybe if you like had strings coming out from the side, this could be a cool, cool spider web design. Um, okay, quick questions. Let's see. Linda says, is the only way to do the Procreate course on an iPad? Unfortunately, yes. Well, they do have an, a, a Procreate app for the iPhone. I just wouldn't recommend it because it's such a small screen. Um, thank you for saying that, Donna. Uh, Brenda said, I did the fall workshop in 2020. Join, join the clubhouse and have learned so much. You won't regret it. Thank you for saying that. Uh, Emily said, I also joined after the pumpkin workshop and have sold several door hangers since then. I need to get some of you ladies on an interview with me when we do... Um, when we have uh, our Painters Clubhouse week and interview some of you live. So if you're interested in that, shoot me a text. Thank you for saying that, Cynthia. You guys are awesome. Coming up in here with your testimonials <laughs> are so sweet. All right. I'll see you next time. Y'all have a great afternoon. Bye, y'all.